Okay, hello everyone. <laughs> today's, today's whatever. Hi. <laughs> I'm creating a family charter. Um, it's the first of our series of um, Ruler at Home webinars. And so our task today, what you should know today before leaving um, this quick webinar is how to create a family charter. And the charter is the first of four ruler tools that we use at St. Pius um, for um, forming emotionally intelligent students. So um, just to give kind of a, a recap of the ruler skills, ruler is an acronym um, of the five skills that we want kids to have um, surrounding the management of their emotions. So recognizing emotions, understanding them, labeling emotions, expressing emotions, and then um, being able to regulate their emotions. Um, and then we use four tools in this framework to teach kids those five skills. Um, so the first uh, of those tools that we introduce to the students is the charter, and that's the tool we're gonna discuss today. And the next um, few of our uh, webinars will describe the other tools and how to implement them into your family life. So the charter is our tool today. Hopefully I'm not moving too fast. The charter is um, a tool that allows everyone within the family a chance to articulate how they want to feel at home and then work together uh, to agree upon behaviors that are going to support those feelings. So the members of the family decide on what needs to happen or what needs to change for those feelings to be consistently present. Um, so what I want to just start with is, and we're um, just give you a chance to think, like how do you want to feel in your home? And if you're willing to share out some emotions, um, you can just say them out loud. Um, I'm, uh, I, I, I'd like to feel um, safe in my home. Um, I'd like to feel uh, happy. Uh, I guess another, a better word, we try not to use the word happy. I'd like to feel content, um, <laughs> calm. Calm, I was gonna say calm, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Re relax. Everybody's anxious right now, no one's yeah. relaxed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. calm. Yeah. Um, yeah, so um, so that's a good starting point. So then the question becomes, how do we create and maintain an environment that helps us to feel those emotions consistently and supports every person in the family's well-being? And that's where the family charter comes in. Um, so the charter is this anchor tool designed to build and sustain positive emotional climates, climates um, and helps us to figure out how um, we want to feel and then what we need to do to feel that way. And everyone's involved in creating the charter. That's a really essential point. Mm -hmm. Every member of the family's um, uh, thoughts um, go into the charter. Uh, no one's left out. Um, so there's two main questions that the charter answers. It's guided by two main questions. How do we want to feel? And then how will we help each other to experience those feelings? Um, so we're gonna do like a little condensed version of a family charter, um, just among the three of us. We're gonna practice what it's gonna look like when you do it with your family. Um, so we're gonna become a little family right now. <laughs> That's okay. <what> um, <laughs> That's good. So, um, so we're gonna start by just thinking of three to five feelings we wanna feel at home. And we have to agree upon three to five together. Um, so I think we already agreed on calm, seems like. <laughs> yes. Yes, yeah. okay, calm's gonna be in our charter. Um, what about, what, what are some others we wanna put in our charter? How else do we wanna feel at home? Uh, I thought, I liked content. Content, okay. Yeah. Do you like that, Chandra? Yeah, content's good. <laughs> okay, yeah. um, so content, calm. Um, let's see, what else? Um, um, it's a feel. I, um, yeah, go ahead. No, I was going to say, I don't, I don't know how to say it, but I, I like to feel relaxed or organized. I don't feel like I always have something to do. I don't want to feel like I'm, I have a job at home. You know what I mean? Right. So yes. we, I usually like to say relaxed. So yes. we do that by, you know, completing our chores and yes. it's not an all day thing. <laughs> yes, relaxed so, or like yeah. ser serene or like some sort of, yeah, yeah. Relax, relaxed is a good, is a good word. Yeah. <laughs> um, relaxed. Okay. So relaxed, calm, and uh, we said content. And I like the word respected. Would everybody 
agree yes. to that? Yes, definitely. Like, well, we don't want to feel respected at home. We don't want yeah. to feel, you know, it's a place where we should feel like we're loved and accepted and respected. Um, okay, so, so lo- I think loved, I think loved is good. Loved, okay, so loved, yeah. maybe yeah. Loved, loved, respected, calm, yeah. content, and what was our last one? Um, relaxed. Yes. Yeah. Good? Yeah. Everyone agrees to those? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. So um, now that we have, now in a family setting, especially like in your house, <laughs> Lisa, when you've got all these different words coming, probably you might have like 12 different words and yeah. then you have to boil it down to those five or three words. So, um, but you can do something like when we do this as a faculty, we have a faculty charter and there we had hundreds of words. <laughs> we um, did, uh, we we got into smaller groups to make them smaller, smaller lists of words, and then we did like a fist of five. So like, how how much do you need the word um, secure to be in your charter? Fist of five, one being it's not very important to you, and five being it's most important to you. And then with your family, you can kind of, you know, let everybody participate in voting which words they want in the charter, but in a way that's a little bit more organized and orderly. So that's just a little, um, okay. Tip. Or when you're actually doing it with your family, because I have a feeling there'll be a lot more words than you're actually going to end up in your charter. Mm-hmm. Um, so once you narrow it down, then um, each um, of the emotions that you want to feel consistently in your home needs at least two um, behaviors attached to them. So you said, uh, Chandra, one of the things you do is you get all, you, everyone um, takes care of their responsibilities and that makes it feel relaxed at home. Um, yes. so that might be a behavior that you attach to that word. So then what we would do is we'd go through and say, um, okay, so we want to feel loved at home. And part of that um, in our family is going to be that um, when we come into the house from being away, we say hello to our family members. We don't just walk past them. We greet each other. And that's going to be one of the behaviors we expect of each other in order to feel loved in the home. So you, as a family, discuss what are the behaviors we're expecting of each other in order to feel this way. Um, And for kids, it might be, you know, to feel respected. I'm going to expect that, like, um, you share and that you let me play with you when um, I when I ask to play with you that sometimes you let me play, <laughs> you know, <laughs> or whatever it is, whatever it feels like for kids to feel respected, they're going to have their own something to bring to the table there. Um, so after you decide on the words, then you think of two behaviors that to attach to those um, that will help you to feel that way. Um, okay, so um, Oh, discuss, some discussion questions. Can you imagine starting this process as a home with your family? How do you think, how do you feel like your family members would respond to this? Um, or how do you think having a charter might help your family become more self-aware? These are just a few discussion questions. I don't know what you all, what you all think. Uh, I'm pretty sure my kids will be quick to point out when one of them is not following the charter. Yeah, oh, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> yeah, it becomes like a touchstone for, for yeah. us, you know, to say, oh, remember, we want to feel um, calm. And part of feeling calm yeah. is that um, we don't we don't run in we don't run in the house. Um, yeah. That's part of feeling calm for for mom and for dad. And um, it's also part of being safe. You know, maybe safe is a word in your charter. We want to feel safe yeah. at home. Um, whatever it is. Um, so yeah, I think that's probably true. Kids, kids love justice. They want to point out when somebody's in the right <laughs> or in the wrong. But it almost becomes good because then you know there's some sort of self-regulation there that they, right. um, they there's something concrete to grasp onto. Like no, we all agreed that we would do X, Y, and Z. Right. And so I'm gonna need you to to live up to your side of the story. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Better. <laughs> yeah. Um, that, that's Henry. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So the, the goal is um, that then you'd be able to, and I wish I had, I don't think I have another slide on here. Let me just see. No, I have some like summary um, <laughs> in general, how to, how to, how to live these um, skills at home. But I think what you want to do ideally is to be able to write those words Mm -hmm. and then the 
actionable behaviors underneath the words and have it even if it's on like an eight by 10 and then at the bottom every family member's signature is affixed to it and then it's put somewhere like on the fridge somewhere where everyone can see it where you can refer back to it um and uh it becomes this touch point this touch point um so that somebody in the family can say you know i'm not feeling calm right now and the reason is because we have an agreed upon behavior and it's x y or z and right now i'm i'm not feeling you know whatever it is so it becomes this touch point for every family member um how's that sound y'all well, that sounds good. good. I like it. Yeah. I, it's a cute idea. I, like it. I did a, I did it like way faster than I was supposed to, which doesn't surprise me because I talk super fast. So <laughs> um just in summary, so the family charter helps to create this positive, supportive, emotional environment at home, beginning with how we feel and then the behaviors attached to those feelings. Um each person comes up with feeling words, we narrow them down. We come to an agreement on the behaviors attached to the words that we've agreed upon. And then it becomes this lived agreement within the family, a living document um, mm -hmm. for the family. And um, at school, we'll do charter check-ins. So it might be even nice for there to be some sort of family routine check-in on the charter. And it becomes a place where kids can say how they feel. So, um, we're going to check in on the charter. Is everyone feeling loved? Is everyone feeling safe? Is everyone feeling calm? Is everyone feeling um, relaxed? And then it gives the child and the adult for that matter an opportunity to say, I'm not feeling loved and this is why. Um, because what, what is happening for our kids is that they don't really have tons of um, you know, structured ways to talk about how they're feeling and they're feeling so many different things. And there's not a lot of silence in their life to, to be able to reflect, to have like quiet reflective time. I think back on the days when kids were like working the farm and they were like plowing the land and they had lots of thinking time. So they could think about how they were feeling pretty consistently. Mm -hmm. They're pretty in tune with their emotions. And I think why we have to be really intentional now about emotional intelligence is that our kids are flying from one thing to the next, to the next, yeah. to the next. especially yeah. right now when they're on devices and they are um, working online and we, it could be really destructive to their emotional well-being because they don't have that time for quiet and reflection. So as the adults in their lives, being really intentional about making that time for them so that they can think, how am I feeling? Am I feeling loved? Am I feeling um, safe? Am I feeling calm? Um, and then if not, why? And being able to, in a safe place in their family, express why that is because there's a structure already put in place for it um, is what's going to be really, a, a, I think, a huge game changer for our kids. Um, because discuss, discussing emotions can be tricky, right? Yeah. So these yeah. are the, uh, formal structures that the kids are already familiar with, and they're familiar with this one because we use it at school, are, are a, a great help, I think. All right. Um, Okay, I was just gonna give a few like broad level takeaways and then um, give you all a chance to ask any questions if you had any. Um, so this is just a recap kind of of the program as a whole. I'm gonna watch my time because I wanna be faithful to what I said, I'm still good. Um, so as a family, we wanna pay attention to our own emotions and then the emotions of our family members um, to be able to feel our feelings and name them. Um, it's really important and um, when we ask our kids like how are you feeling and they just said I'm all right like we need to actually be sticklers about not letting them do that because they're not all right <laughs> they're feeling yeah. all sorts of different words mm -hmm. we yeah. might need to use a tool and um, I don't have it up here but we use a tool at school called the mood meter and I'm happy to send that along to you we may need to post a mood meter with all of the emotion words and say nope you're not all right you're feeling an emotion and we can name emotions and they're very specific and I want you to name the specific emotion that you're feeling um, so we kind of need to be sticklers with our kids to not let them just kind of give us an easy answer because um, it's not good for them 
um, it's not good for them not to have a place to name their emotion. Um, and then we wanna listen without dismissing how our family members are feeling. Um, feelings on their own, uh, and St. Thomas says this too about the passions, they're not moral, like they're not good or bad. Um, sometimes we grew, some of us grew up in homes where we thought being sad or being angry or being discouraged was somehow wrong. And so we don't feel those emotions because we think it's wrong to feel them. We think it's wrong to feel discouraged or we think it's wrong to feel really angry. Um, but in reality, those feelings aren't wrong at all. They're just information that tells us that we're going through something. Um, so it's really what we choose to do with the emotion that counts. And that's what we're teaching our kids. But we'd want them to, if they're feeling really angry and they say, I'm feeling so angry, we want them to feel like they can say that and be mm -hmm. valued and that, yeah. that, that the nature of their feelings doesn't change how we value them. Um, and that we're listening without some sort of judgment. Because as soon as they detect that it's wrong to feel a certain feeling, they'll stop expressing it, which really doesn't help them in the long run. Um, it actually can cause some serious long-term problems for them. So, um, all right, I wasn't planning on talking about that for so long. Um, <laughs> and then we wanna choose our response wisely, right? Having feelings is different from acting on feelings. I just said that. Uh, we want to model effective strategies for managing our emotions, and we're going to talk a little bit about what those strategies are moving forward in the series of webinars, so stay tuned. Um, there's always more than one way of looking at a situation, so we want to share different points of view within the family um, and stay connected by taking time each day to reach out and let one another know that we care. Um, okay. Because it's, uh, we're all in this together. And I think that now more than ever, you know, there's tension in our families because we're together all the time and yes. we are getting on each other's last nerves. And uh, we, we want to continue to grow together, um, but it's gonna take some being like super intentional because otherwise we'll keep doing the same thing we've been doing, keep having the same feelings we've been having, these feelings of like, and it's okay to feel depressed and feel sad and feel alone and isolated. And, um, but if we don't have to feel that way because we can do something within the family to generate other feelings, um, uh, I think we should try to do that, especially for our kids um, right now during this, this difficult time. All right. We have five minutes left of our 30 minutes. So um, I didn't know if anyone had any questions or um, comments or ideas. <laughs> it's okay if you don't. I, yeah, I thought, I thought it was pretty straightforward. So yeah. I like it. Yeah, it's a so, good idea. Um, let me see if I can share with you um, what I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna send you a link in the chat box with your mm -hmm. like take home assignment. <laughs> okay, <laughs> great, Yay. homework. <laughs> We're getting an assignment. So let me go to the, the chat and just post, post it in there for you all so you can see it. I'll actually post two things. The first one is your assignment and the second one is gonna be your, just like a take home tips. So if you want to get some tips for the, um, neither of those showed up as links. I don't know why. Are they showing yeah. up as links for you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I have a link. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So the charter take home is kind of your assignment for uh, uh, how to bring this home to your family. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and just show you what that looks like. Uh, I'll share it with you. If they let me. Okay, um, so let's see. Can you all see that? Yeah. Yes. Is it a full page for you or are you looking at like a tiny little thing? The tiny thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, how about, uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Yeah. I'll zoom in. Um, okay, is that better? Yeah. A little yeah. bit? Okay, yeah. so this just is... This is your take home worksheet of how you're going to do this at home. And there's just key ideas on the first page. The second page is going to um, invite you to practice this with your family, how to put this into to practice at home. So um, just reminds you of those two guiding questions that the charter is um, uh, that we base the charter on. Um, how do we want to feel at home and how do we want to help? How are we going to help ourselves and, and others to feel that way? And then taking time um, as a family to go ahead and 
uh, generate the charter and it kind of gives you that step-by-step -step, um, actionable items that you can put into place. Super straightforward. Um, I'm trying to just give you little chunks of things to um, implement so that you can just little, little by little grow this at home. Um, yeah. So we, I'm like, I'm never under time. I'm <laughs> under time. It's amazing. <laughs> I'm so impressed with myself. That's wonderful. So I don't know if I don't. I don't think there's any any questions, but um, I hope that you all found this helpful for you.